Okay, you guys, here is another Burns tune. This one is called Duncan Grey. I'll play it through for you first of all. Here we go. So, slightly trickier this one than the last one, but um, let me just play you through the tune first of all. Um, we've got this little rhythm. This bit here. So it's like a brandy, when we say brandy, as opposed to hiccup. Hiccup when it goes the other way. Hiccup is... Brandy. Here's the tune. Watch the fingers carefully. That's the tune. Now the left hand, we're, we're in the key of F, so it's all starting on F. And in this tune, there's lots of alternate bass work. Now alternate bass work, mm. if you remember, is when you use this sort of triangle shape. You do F, the F major, and then our second finger goes over to the button above. In this case, it's C. <laughs> okay, so we need that. But also later in the tune, we need to do an alternate bass but on G minor. So here's our G, and remember the minor is your second finger. And to make the triangle this time, a slightly wider triangle, we need to put our middle finger to the note above, which is D. So G, G minor, D, back and forward. We also need to do the same thing on a C seventh. So if there's a minor, we need to take this second finger one stretch further to this row to get the seventh. Remember, it's major, minor, seventh. And then the alternate here. So it's a bit trickier, this one. Anyway, let me play through the whole bass for you with the alternate bass. Watching out for the alternate bass. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's going to take quite a bit of practice just on its own till you get that right. Now, if you when you can see the music in front of you, every single note is the same length except when you get to the end. But one note is longer. But the tricky thing is, unfortunately, this side is not doing the same. 
So this side really, although it's doing all those chords, it's also helping you keep in time. Um, now I'm going to play the tune together, but before we do, the first stem bar obviously matches up note for note. Next bit almost. So when you get to the C7, you've got to hang on to this. That's straightforward, and then here. But then when we get to the second C7, you have to be careful because we've got two notes. A G and a B flat, but this B flat, because it's a semi-quaver, or because the G is a dotted quaver, we have to hang on to this whilst we do both the C and the C7. And then the B flat comes after. It's really hard. Okay, so now that's going to happen quite a few times in the tune, so be careful of that when you're reading the music. I'll play the tune through nice and slowly so you can see how it all matches up together. Here we go. Oh, there's that chair again. Pardon me. That's it. So quite tricky to get together, but I'll play it through again twice, maybe three times, and um, each time I'll get slightly faster. So if you're trying to join in, maybe join in with one hand or practice this hand, or if you feel ready, go for it with both hands. Here we go. Here's a wee introduction. Duncan Gray. Have fun. Bye for now.